where uh, Michigan is keeping Jesse Minner because the Eagles have gone another direction with the defensive coordinator. So all of those things that we talked about last week, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Basically forget about all that because he's staying. Is it, this is what happens. It does. Uh, you know, this is the college football off season and this is um, not just the college off season that we've seen uh, in previous, I will say decades. Uh, but as we progress into the future, I think these coaching staffs, and it's always been a nomadic lifestyle for these coaches and especially yeah. assistant coaches. All you have to do is grab anybody's resume who's been around the block a few times and you will see two and three years at a stop, sometimes one, one, one in consecutive years at various stops. They are all over the place. And until they get that, that gig that, that really suits them, that's paying a ton of money. And if they have aspirations of being a head coach, then, you know, that's, that's what it is for, for quite some time. But I think that that's even been ramped up in recent years as programs have become much more aggressive about not looking for anyone who's just on the open market and available. Uh, I've had this right. conversation a few times on other shows, uh, just the Miami coaching staff. And I, I bring them up because they're, a, they're the most recent example, but they are not alone in actually picking off coaches who are transitioning from another team anyway. So, for example, had it been at, let's say, Louisville last year, got a job at Cincinnati, had only been there for two or three weeks in the offseason, and then they're changing jobs again, even during the offseason, after having taken another job after the 22 season. Um, nothing like that here, but again, just right. to underline that, just look at the Michigan coaching staff since uh, the winter of 2020 and into 21, when they really made some changes to shake things up, get a little bit younger, uh, a little bit more ingenuity. And um, because of that, then they've, they've kind of con uh, consistently had this, this approach that they're going to stay aggressive. They're going to get the people that they want. And obviously right. as people succeed and as the program and the team succeeds and find success, then there are going to be opportunities for the coaches. So it kind of works in both directions that if you're, you're ultra successful, then, then coaches have opportunities. If you are underachieving, then coaches are sent packing. Yeah. Kirk is like the Kirk Ferentz is like the exception, like the exception where he used to be more the rule. I mean, he used to have coaches stay for 20, 30 years at a program. And now every couple of years, it's like you're doing the shuffle. So, uh, so you got to have those tough conversations with family, friends, anybody who's like looking to get into any type of relationship with you um, that, Hey, this is the life that's going to happen. We're going to probably be moving around a couple times. Like, gotta have those conversations. Um, I think now. <laughs>